All right, welcome back to tutorial number 15 in Asteroids. Here we're gonna create some object collision between the lasers and the asteroids. So, uh, what should we do in here? We're gonna start uh, by coding, I think the asteroids will be the easier one. We'll come in here and let's see, where was it that we found um, when we started as a clone as an asteroid? And also, um, over here, there's two different places where we collided with our spaceship already. We're going to basically do the exact same thing with these. We can copy this stuff, except we are going to be changing what it's touching. So I'm going to right-click this if-then statement, if touching spaceship, and it's coming from this when I receive game start um, script. I'm going to duplicate that here, and I'm going to change this to if it's touching laser then it'll explode and create a clone of itself and uh, it'll have that massive explosion switch between the costumes and then hide and we'll drop that down here um, we're going to do a similar thing over here for the clones we'll right click this duplicate it switch from spaceship to laser and we'll drop it in here so either condition will cause those to um, do something. But I, I need to show you there's a glitch still with this. Where it's, we're not complete. If we try this out, if I go ahead and I'm using the space bar to shoot at an asteroid, you're going to notice this. You see the problem? The laser beams still are showing up. So, um, in here, when I start as a clone, we want it to do all of these things except we need an additional line of code for this. And what we're gonna use is um, we need to have it delete after a certain point. So we said if it's um, uh, repeat until laser movement or touching asteroid big, at the end of this line, we need one more line of code that we didn't do last time. And we'll get it under control and that is delete this clone. It's the very last line there. I'm going to put it underneath everything. Um, so when we start as clone, the last thing we need to do is delete. And let's see what happens. Let's test it out and see if it works. So at this point, we're able to shoot. That laser beam goes off. There it goes. And looks like it's working beautifully. So we can spam as much as we want, as fast as we can click, and we can get all kinds of laser beams. Again, if your lasers are going too far, you can always reduce this number here. Like we dropped it down to 25 and tried that out. What you'll find is that you actually have a much shorter laser. You see that? There it is. Okay. I hope that helps. Um, there's uh, the next thing that we'll dive into is I think we need to start adding in some sound effects for these. So we'll hit those up in the next tutorial.